A young college-age uh, son comes up to his middle-aged father, and he says, Dad, I think I'm getting pretty serious with this girl I've been dating at school. Uh, do you think I can finally bring her home to meet the family? The father replies, Son, have I ever had that talk to you about uh, how love between a man and a woman works? Uh, no, not officially. I, I think you just let me figure it out from my more rebellious peers at school. So it sounds like we need to have the talk. No, I don't think so. Uh, Dad, I already know. Then why else would you have asked your previous question? Wait, what? Okay, uh, what do you mean? Why else would you have asked if you can bring her home? The real question should be, when? How's that? You see, when a man and a woman who are in some mysterious way naturally compatible meet each other, nature must take its course. Could you explain that a little further, please? She's not pregnant or anything. We should have had this talk sooner. Dad, she's a wonderful young lady. I think anyone would think she is so, and I, I try to give her all my respect. Are you sure about that? Why? You don't even know her. If she comes over and I ask, ask her if you always treat her with respect, will she say the same thing? I mean, no, not necessarily. And why is that? Well, I, I try to give her enough attention, and sometimes it's good enough. But uh, she's just so gosh darn needy. I, I just want to want her to uh, leave me and go bother someone else. And she still loves you, even even after you were deliberately trying to push her away. I assume multiple times. Apparently, so I mean, <laughs> I I just gave up uh, hope of ever getting rid of her. Uh, I guess she does seem to appreciate me, though, uh, and in time, we've kind of just grown together like two vines. She must be a piece of crap. What? Didn't you just hear what I just said? Yes, you said she's a piece of crap? No, I did not. Sorry, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Uh, you still need the love talk, don't you? Shut up, Dad. Hey, wait, listen. Let me explain. Okay, let me see here. Okay, so have you ever gone walking in the yard and stepped on a piece of dog crap? Come on, humor me. Have you or have you not? I get it, what's your point? Well, you know how you're just strolling along one day, and boom, or <laughs> squish rather. Uh, so, so then you try to do whatever you possibly can to get that crap out of your soul, right? Uh, you scrub it, you wash it, you know, whatever, scrape it, it just won't come out. Therefore, at a certain point, you decide to just give up and accept that uh, that piece of dog crap you stepped on earlier that day is eternally attached to your soul. That's my opinion on why one in five Americans report feeling lonely these days. Everyone is so uppity, they pick up their, their dog's crap. So they've never stepped on a Cupid's love potion. A dog taking a crap is what true love looks like. Cupids are misrepresented in the news. Well, cool. Sounds like you might be just the thing to scare her off. When is the soonest she can come over? 
next weekend. Uh, that way your mom and I can have some time to round up some old baby pictures. Girls like that kind of stuff.